We are just about four miles off the shore of Lake Erie at Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park, New York. Today we hit week 10, and we've got a good one in store between the Minnesota Vikings and the Buffalo Bills. with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you take a look at the Bills entering play here. They come in after tasting defeat for the first time in about a month as their loss snapped a four-game winning streak. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Vikings. They've certainly got it rolling of late. Winners of six in a row. And it's simple. The more you win in the regular season, the more likely you play at home in the postseason. And that can take you deep into January. No run back here on the opening kickoff as we'll start at the 25. The Vikings offense coming out for the first time and in his fifth season leading this crew, coming off his third career Pro Bowl nod, Kirk Cousins. First play and a first pass for Cousins. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 19 yards right off the bat. And a quick first down. Now carry for Dalvin Cook. And a lane slow and materializing there as he'll get maybe a yard up to the 45. And, Charles, you think about what this defense has had to prepare for. They're in for a battle. I mean, they're facing a team that is working on a six-game winning streak. And that can be intimidating when you think about it in those terms. But I think what they need to do is make some sort of a statement early in this game, whether it's a turnover, a takeaway, a key sack on third down, a three and out. Something lets the other guys know that you mean business. Figuratively, throw the first punch and make it a good one. Cousins now from the 50. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. And without a doubt, not the way they pictured that opening drive unfolding. No, they were making progress. They weren't exactly in high gear. But they were, they were making a few yards along the way. And now that they've comped it up, you got to go back to the sidelines and regroup a little bit. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Allen following the fumble recovery. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. Call a gain of six on the play. And it'll be second down. Throwing now is Allen. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. Well, they were handed great starting field position on this drive, but now they face a third and four. Devin Singletary with his first carry of the game. And he's going to have the Bills first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. The Bills at six and two to start play. And they come in off a loss last time out, but overall they've been playing pretty well. Six wins and eight prior to that defeat. And it always hurts when you lose a tight game as they did a week ago. I think each thinking to himself, don't play better, one play here, one play there, maybe can change his team's fortunes, but it absolutely illustrates how important it is to play a complete game if you want to win in the NFL. They'll run on first down with Singletary, and it's going to be brought to just shy of the five at the six. Now look, that wasn't a huge game, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get them going up there. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meetings that they kind of re They will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Stephon Diggs with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Bills use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. That's why you got your star out there. Throw the ball to him. They did. Let's simply say we don't care what coverage you put out there. He's so good. We're going there with the football anyway, and there's not a thing you can do about it. Inside the red zone, they go, he gets it done. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes the score. Touchdown, Bass 
to kick it away. It's just time to not bring this one out. Is there a time to begin at the 25? The Vikings taking the field here for their second drive of the game. Just the one misstep for them in the first half of the season. 7-1 is the record at the midway point. And in terms of whatever power rankings you want to go by, they're at or near the top of the list in terms of best teams in the National Football League. step aside here in this first quarter. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Ryan Wright. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Three tight ends to the ball game here on first and 10. To the air, Allen. of talent and toughness to go into the briar patch. And will be brought down just outside of the 30. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. drive so they're two for two two touchdowns Charles a great start to this ball game for them and one of the words has really worked its way into our lexicon is stacking they've stacked momentum each time out not only on offense between those touchdowns defense held forced to punt and get the ball back and they played awfully well in this one both sides played an optimum level after the touchdown bass to kick it away The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. This will probably be the last play of the quarter. Now Cousins here on the bootleg. Under pressure, and he'll go down. They'll sack him on what ought to be the final play of this first quarter. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack it's second and 20 throwing his cousins open man he's got him the tight end Hawkinson so back to back plays each get nothing and they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long now cousins looks again for TJ Hawkinson and he's got him again and he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line, well short of the first down marker. And here's Ryan right now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And they will take over first and 10. So here are the Bills to take over. They fell last week to the Jets, but they've got the lead right now as they start this drive. And down he goes, but he 
takes it up to the 40. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Play action. Now it's Allen. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. This is what defensive coaches ask of their defenders every single ball game. Get a hand on every throw in coverage. They want the deflections. They want the knockaways. Pick it yourself if you can, but at least not. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Eric Kendricks. And the Vikings are going to take possession of the football. Following the interception, Cousins. And that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. To throw again on second down, Cousins. Throw caught there by Osborne. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. The Vikings on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and four. Cousins to throw it. Open man is stealing. Complete, and he will have a Vikings first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. Cousins gives way to Cook, and he is going to lose yardage here. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and eleven. Sometimes being a line. Field is kind of like being a doctor on the field. You got to make the right diagnosis. Here he correctly sets his run and shoots through to make the play in the backfield. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. Here's Cousins. He'll find Thielen work in the middle. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. To throw is Cousins. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far, even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half wide. And Thielen's got it. Touchdown, Vikings. 19 yards away. And the Vikings are back within a score. Joseph connects on the extra point, and that'll make our score 14 to 7. Joseph now to kick this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. Well, the midterm elections are now concluded, and I think we can all breathe a sigh of relief for that. But now it's time for midterm football, where we move past the unofficial halfway point. Of the Vikings after him, and they get there for the sack. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Another try after the first down sack. Allen, his throw incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, old momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side. And all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. Breaks a tackle. Now the defense is going to use the first of their time.
So they're going for it, and here's Allen. He's got to hook up with Diggs. And he is going to have the Bills first down as they manage to convert, and that'll keep the drive alive. And meanwhile, Allen's throw here, taken in by Knox. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Throwing up first down is Allen. There's Stephon Diggs with a catch on the slam. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Works right side into the hands of the tight end, Knox. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Three tight ends up front here, third and goal. On play action, Allen. And he's got tight end knocks for a Bills touchdown. take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball position? So they called it a touchdown originally and this will stay a touchdown after the video review so they had it right. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And it's now 21 to seven. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it culminates in a Bills touchdown. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. So no gain on the play. They'll decline the penalty to not give him the down back. And were you thinking to yourself that maybe they would take the yardage there? Yeah, because I was. I definitely was. But as you noted, maybe they're just looking at the downs chart and saying, okay, we're comfortable where we are. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. Final play of the half, Cousins. He's going to float this over the middle, deep. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we we'll check in with Jonathan Coach. Past the halfway point of the season and now past the halfway point of this game. We skip halftime and get right back to the action. Set to begin the third quarter. Bills with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. From his end zone, Isaiah McKenzie. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. The football back to the Bills and Stephon Diggs. He's been his typical solid and reliable self, hasn't he, Charles? When you have that go-to receiver that you can count on in the situation where you absolutely have to have him, and there's nothing better for anybody who's throwing the football. But the best part is the payoff. Two touchdowns already. That's the bottom line when you throw the ball to a guy. Absolutely. Not over 100 yards right now, but he does have the two touchdown catches. It's not the tight end making the catch. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen going deep for Diggs. 
And that's caught inside the 35. And he takes this one down close all the way to the 30. A big pickup of 38. When they've needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Allen's throw is complete. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half. Just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. The last run got six, now second and four. Singletary again. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. 49 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Here's Allen. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare completion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. So they're coming up here on the ninth play of the drive, and it's third and goal. On play action, Allen. And he's got his tight end knocked for a Bills touchdown. A great effort there. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Bills take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. And now before we get to the extra point, remember all touchdowns do have to be confirmed by the replay official. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. Tyler Bass now for the point after. He knocks it through. It's 28-7. That time, a nine-play drive. And it ends in a Buffalo touchdown. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. This will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. It's the Vikings' turn on offense. We get ready for their first possession of the second half. And their halftime hole now even deeper. And they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger. But no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. He finds his man complete. It's Osborne. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. But we talk all the time about playing situational football. And right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. To throw on second and ten. Cousins. This one caught. It's the tight end, Hawkinson. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 29-yard line. Back now in Buffalo. 
So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory as they're down to the 29-yard line to throw Cousins. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Now Cousins. That one into the hands of Thielen. Complete. A first down from Minnesota. Cousins finding Thielen. From the red zone now, Cousins. Joseph connects on the extra point, and that cuts the lead to 28-14. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And what could he possibly be thinking? He just took the fair catch at the one-yard line. Major mistake. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. So a much rosier picture now after that last play. Here's first and 10 at the 19-yard line. He'll yeah, work his way up the middle for a gain of about four. Second down. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Now Allen. That is complete downfield to Knox. And they work this well upfield across the 45. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Here's Allen on first and 10. A quick throw going to be caught by Diggs. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. territory now they'll come up first and 10 right at the 40 a give up the middle to Singletary and he'll take this ahead for about four second down coming up Brandon I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces and, and I know it sounds crazy but they practiced for this back in training camp they knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them trying to keep them from locking down a game show the world they're up to the challenge. Allen now on first down. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Singletary, they'll go up the middle. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. To throw, it's Allen. On the slant, he's got Davis. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. So Allen's going to look to throw. He will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Bills look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Is it okay if I break one of our rules, partner, which is to never call a game over until it's over? Because this certainly feels like it's over after that drive. Yeah, that was...
spirit crushing, wasn't it? And now you can, you just kind of felt the air go out of the balloon. Yeah, they were fighting so hard to stay in there, and they knew they had to stop them on that drive. But when they were unable to, I, I think you're exactly right. You could see them sag on their sideline, and I think this one might just be over. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. This has been frustrating for them to this point. They have not looked the same as they did coming in, riding that impressive six-game win streak. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Throwing on second and long. Cousins. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Tremaine Edmonds, the linebacker. And the Bills are going to take possession of the football. But such a costly interception. Nearly a pick six, but now they're so close, they are knocking on the door for a touchdown. And I never want to get on any team for being aggressive because that's part of what their makeup is, and oftentimes it's successful. But in this case, you've got to be selective about it and make sure you take care of the football. That interception almost cost him six points. And he's got his tight end Knox for a Bills touchdown. It's a six-yard touchdown pass. And the Bills up the lead to four scores now here in this fourth quarter. Extra point by Bass. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Well, CD, it's all window dressing at this point. I mean, the best they can do is end the game with a nice drive to maybe build some momentum to move forward into their next contest. Yeah, with how lopsided this game has been, even one score, you might not do a lot of cosmetic good on the scoreboard, partner, because it's just about looking forward at this point. Get a touchdown here, give yourself some positive momentum and reps to focus on when you get back to practice in the next couple of days. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Again, it's Cousins. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. Well, this one was already ugly, and now it's just kind of becoming a feast on the defensive side of the football. Yeah, partner, this is a unit that knows they've got this game in the bag with this huge lead, and it's going to drive their coaches crazy because they're telling them, play it straight, do all the right things. But these guys are going to be freewheeling now. All of them are going to take chances, and that one pays off with an INT and a return for six. And he will bowl his way in there for the two points. <laughs> I think this is just going to be a function of the times we live in now. Very similar to the bat flip in baseball. Everyone's got to start to get comfortable with this. But to me, this is just rubbing it in. You got a big lead. Go ahead and take the extra point. One thing to keep in mind, though, karma's still out there and sometimes has a way of catching up with you. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds they had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. Yeah, absolutely right that partner because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? 
This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hope. And the third interception thrown by Cousins. Tredavious White with a pick. And the Bills are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. First and ten and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. And Allen is actually going to throw it here. It's complete to Davis. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. And they just took time out with two seconds to go. This one obviously decided. Not sure they needed to take it, but we'll take it with them. Oh, now look at this. They're lining up to add three more. A little insult to injury here late in the game. And this one, a 41-yard attempt. And the kick is good. So you wonder how this one might be remembered the next time these two teams meet. But until then, this game's over. But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends. And understandably so, not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So for Buffalo, the win will move them to 7-2 and two now on the year. And they'll get another home date next week as the Browns will come to town. Meanwhile, for Minnesota, it's just their second loss so far to go along with their seven wins. And they will get a home date next week as they will take on the Dallas Cowboys.